in this maths Olympiad question, we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 18 minus 1 without the use of a calculator. So the first thing I look at when I've been given an expression like this, which looks complicated, but has a subtraction in there, is will I use the difference of two squares? It comes up quite a lot. It's a good thing to look for. Well, looking at this, we've got the two objects being subtracted and we can see that two to the power of 18 by our laws of indices is two to the power of nine squared. And one is obviously one squared. So there we are, we've got two squares subtracting. So by the difference of two squares, we can do two to the power of nine plus one times two to the power of nine minus one. Two to the power of nine isn't too difficult. We start with two and keep doubling. You've got two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. So our brackets become 513 and 511. There are multiple methods for doing this now. Some people prefer to write this out as 500 plus 13 times 500 plus 11, and then multiply it out like you would with algebraic brackets. What I choose to do instead is I'm gonna split this 511 up into 500, 10, and one. So we've now got 513 times 500, add 513 times 10, add 513 times one. If we think of the 500 as 1,000 over two, we're gonna multiply that by the 513, and our other two terms become 5,130 and 513. Our first term becomes 513,000 over two. Well, divide this by two, we know that 500,000 over two is 250,000. 13,000 over two is 6,500. So the whole thing over two is 256,500. We now need to add on the 5,130 and the 513. Again, it's up to you how you do this. You could do it mentally. I'm going to use a bit of column addition. So the right hand column, 0, 0, and 3, give me 3. 0, 3, and 1, give me 4. 5, 1, 5, that's the 11, so I'm carrying the 1 over. 6 add 5 is 11 again, so I get 12 because of the 1 that's been carried. I'm carrying another 1 over. 5 plus this 1 is 6, and then we've got the 2. So there's our answer 262,000. 143. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.